Generic greetings and welcome to Ignition today's beverages. A lovely warming Bovril. So Ignition is a racing game from 1996 and something that I haven't played in over two decades. I remember playing it as a kid. I don't ever remember owning it. I know a friend owned it and I used to go around his house and play it on his computer and I think we did it multiplayer where you can have like two, I think it was split screen or something but it's just, there's just so much that I've forgotten about this game. In fact I actually forgot about the game's existence until it was brought out a number of years ago and I've been meaning to do this video for quite some time and go down memory lane again with those rose tinted glasses for a bit of nostalgia ironically <laughs> it's been quite a while since we did a nostalgia video so let's just check this thing out i've loaded the game I have made sure it works, I've checked out the controls and I've done about half a track and that's my experience with the game after like say about 20 years of not playing it. So let's go over to single race, you've got championship, single race, time trial and pursuit mode. Oh that's in the single player but you've also got multiplayer as well, not going to try that. We're going to go to single race and then we need to select our car. So each car has four statistics, acceleration, turbo, speed and grip, we're currently on the bug. We've also got the smoke, you've got the co-op evac which is it looks like to be some sort of medical jeep type thing we've got enforcer and that looks to be a school bus yeah i believe the school bus used to be a bit of a bully back in the day it used to be something you could bully people with because it was so big but i wouldn't go with a bug because it's got it looks to be fairly decent, oh, actually no, it's okay acceleration, turbo's quite good, speed's fairly poor, but the grip seems to be fairly alright as well. Oh, look at that one, that's the smoke, that looks to be like a big rig thing, and yeah, we're going to go with this one, and it's obviously just a VW Beetle, and then we've got Moose Jaw Falls, Gold Rush, Snake Island, Lost Ruins, Yodel Peaks, and then we can't do the other one, which is Cape Thorn, Tokyo Bullet, I don't know whether those are unlocked when you complete these ones but we shall see we're gonna go with Moose Jaw Falls which is the first map and then we will load in obviously this is a as of the time recording 24 year old game currently running by a DOS box and being recorded on a 2k monitor so yeah basically if there's any stretching and scaling then you know please forgive that so here we go straight away we're gonna go into this first corner we're already getting bullied by the by the bus there, which is going to get around this corner, and this is where I stopped playing. So this is as far as I remember, or I played uh, just recently to make sure it works, and ooh, good grief, it's a bit squirrely, this thing. You can see we do have some nice details with the tyre marks on there, and oh, it looks like we've been hit by lightning as well, which is not something you really want. We've got some pace note type things at the top there, where it's showing up our corners and stuff, and we've got to jump, I'm going to activate our boost. This is using the arrow keys, so no WSD or anything like that, in fact, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some repetitive strangery slash uh, <laughs> some uh, <laughs> uh, wrist problems because I'm, the wrist so, it's, fingers are so close together. But my fingers, my right fingers are on the WSD and then it's, left, it's right shift for the boost as well as the gears up and down. I'm going to try and go down here but ooh, looks like there'll be a tractor. We managed to get around there and we're now in position two and we're into our second lap. So let's do a bit of a boost here and yeah, straight across. Although, as you can see, it's something you don't want to do too often because it can go quite badly. I think the left hand side is probably a faster way but you probably have to contend with a train. Let's activate our boost because we do have that. The boost bar, as far as I can tell, just builds up as you sort of drive along. So I'm going to make sure I use that as much as possible to get, yes, a nice little speed advantage there and good grief. Uh, I thought that would pretty much wreck this thing but no, we're okay. We'll do a little bit of a jump there and use our ignition. Excellent. Um, I think around about the same time, we used to play like this one, uh, Revolt and Carmageddon would probably all be around about the same time, I would imagine, but as I said, it's uh, been quite a while since I've tried this, and mm, good grief, let's go to the right again, and then, oh, straight in to a farm vehicle, which is not good, but we are still position two, we're going to activate our boost and con continue on there, position one, that's actually good, oh, there's a train going down the bottom, but the fact that on the main menu it shows something crashing into a train means that I should probably be careful here, there we go, we managed to get round that one, and we're still in position, oh, position one there that's pretty good it uh, seems to run all right as i said emulation is via dos box all built in i didn't have to do anything i just literally bought, bought and installed the game let's do a bit of a boost and straight across there and ooh, squirrely around the corner camera angle seems to be problematic if i'm honest it's uh, tends to be it's, it's a bit further up and sort of close to the car it would have been better if it was further back but i guess that adds to the tension that's sort of the whole point let's just boost across here and then we've got our hairpin bend which i managed to crash on the side we are going to attempt to go around the right hand side here again and looks like we are going to be in pole position that is first excellent mm. 
I must have it on automatic gearbox because I didn't uh, alter anything there, I just managed to win it, so pretty good. So play a trick again, we're going to say no, and then we'll go down and... Um, try the next one. I believe this was a CD title, which is why there's some music playing there. You wouldn't be able to get anything like that or anything as that, that sort of high fidelity when you have just a floppy disk. Let's go to single player again. We're going to try the bug again. Actually, no, let's try a different card. Let's go with the Corp, which I think was your default option. We're going to go with Gold Rush. Now, I believe this map had like a sort of trestle thing you go across and a big jump. That's really the only thing I can remember there. So, Let's see what this is like. Once again, we have Enforcer, we have a yellow car, and let's see if we can win this one too. So around the side here, and oh, we've already got some hazards. Looks like it went straight into a tornado there, which is, well, to fling that straight off the bat is suboptimal. And that looks like we have a very flat car. That Jeep was all flat for some reason. Looks like we've got a minecart, and yeah, someone went straight into it there. We're going to go around. Looks like we've got boulders as well. So this map is already filled with a lot of hazards that we have to try and avoid. And let's do a jump and do a boost and see if we can skirt around the outside. I can tell that this is a different type of car in terms of its stats than the other one we played. It doesn't seem to be... It seems to be a bit more slidey or something. There's just something a bit different there, but obviously this is just a, a quick little try and here we go we've got to jump over that one and then that one and I'm gonna go left this time to see what this is like so we're gonna go around and that actually seemed fairly easy still position oh position one now straight past the minecart there and we are going it's very much a twitchy game here I'm not remembering the track at all I'm just following the notes at the top there to see where we have to go and see if I can boost yes that was a nice boost actually we went a bit too far but we can take the corner not, exa not exactly a racing line that one but there you go Historically, I have been terrible with racing games. I just used to go full throttle all the time and then realise, well, that's probably not the way to do it in later life. But there you are. I think the only racing game I was ever good at was Star Wars Episode 1 Racer because, well, I genuinely think it's one of the best racing games, certainly that I've played, but also I think it's accepted to be a pretty good racing game anyway. Very, very fast and or Star Wars, which always helped, and I really like pod racing anyway. But that's nothing to do with this, that's my digress. Back to where uh, this one is, our second jump, or third jump rather, around there, and spin it round. Oh, that was a fairly good line, sliding it round. And we're going to go to the right this time, and obviously following these, cross there, and boost, 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 and as long as we don't hit anything, that should be another first position. Yes, there we go, first. Excellent. And look at all the banners and stuff on the left and right yeah <laughs> like uh, there's one the, the cars are called Todd there and looks like they're just trying to get in there and sorted so that was quite an interesting map obviously you've got the boulders you've got the tornadoes you've got the minecarts you've got the cars in the town and overall no health and safety so let's uh, no to playing that map again we're going to try another one so far, pretty much what I remember pretty hectic pretty chaotic but overall quite fun single player I wonder what championship is. So championship, you'll pick your car. Let's just pick, say, I want something with really good grip. Well, that's got good grip. And I'm guessing we go through multiple maps. Uh, is that what it's going to do? It's almost certainly what it's going to do. Yeah, so what I'll do, I will... Uh, I'd actually just say CD track there so you can change it. I will quit that and we'll say yes. So that's. I just wanted to see what that would do. I'm guessing you go through and you get different scores and you finally get your... Your rating at the end, but there you are. So single player, we're not going to do. We got pursuit mode. What's pursuit mode? Let's try that one. I'm going to go on Snake Island. Is this one where you're trying to beat your time? You can do like a ghost car thing. You can beat your previous time. I think that's probably what this will be. But we'll see what it is like. And already we've got looks to be. Uh, is there hovercraft or are they river boats? I think river boats. So this is looks to be a very windy road. In terms of graphics in 1996, I would imagine this had been quite good. Obviously it is 3D, very basic and stuff, but yeah, I imagine being pretty cool at the time. Resolution is 800 by 600, I believe in this mode because I maxed it out, but it's not that on the main menu. Not that you will play this these days for the graphics. <laughs> and oh yeah, that's a thing that I didn't notice until I was halfway over the cliff. And so I'm going to get a bridge there. Round here, obviously this has all got loads and loads of that was bad. I couldn't see where that turned and where... It... I thought I went straight for a second, but it didn't. 
There you go, and looks like it'll be boosting. Okay, well, that's the thing. If we're going to boost, then we'll boost. Yeah, the bridges going over there was a serious problem. I'm going to go to the right here because we do have the grip. You can see just how well this thing turns. And straight across, and oh, I actually died there. I think I might have hit someone. I might have hit someone there. Position is one of six, but this is pursuit mode, and can we get past? And we are past. There we go. Activating our boost once again. I think it's going to be one of those where you, in the higher level of play, which certainly I'm never ever going to get to, you would be just using the boost pretty much at every time. I'm guessing the maps will be built around the use of that. Where you can, you, you'll know eventually where you can use the boost pretty much all the time. So this one seems to be like a good one, and yeah, that wasn't too bad. And we're position one out of five, and ooh, there we go. If if, if this was any other vehicle, I don't think we would make it round that. It says one out of five, but I thought there was a total of a total of six cars. Ah, there might have been. It might be the person at the back gets knocked out. That would that would probably make sense. But there you are. Let's try the left-hand side this time. And it seems to be another jump. And, oh, we didn't make it. Yeah, I don't think we will actually make that without a boost because this is not a very fast vehicle. Unless you're Timothy Dalton, you're never going to jump something like this across. Um, they see that there? I think they might have been able to land on us at one point. It's still three out of five. Excuse me. Three out of four. So, yes, it is knockout. So that's fine. Let's get a bit of a boost. The boost on this seems to be quite good. I managed to get past that. I'm also noticing because of the size of this, I am able to bully a lot of these cars out of the way. I'm going to give it a turn here and then give it a boost. And there we go. Straight past and past the enforcer. Turn this corner. Little dab of brake and then straight across. Although I'm managing to... I'm managing to get around without using the brake, but just come off the accelerator a bit. Once again, I went around that corner, and because of the position of the track I, and the bridges, I couldn't see exactly what I needed to see and where the corner was, but there you are. And we're going to go to the right, but I'm actually going to make sure I... <laughs> I was actually going to go ahead, because I wanted to... Let's boost and straight across, and we didn't hit the air boats as well. We've got both things. And it is position one of four. Excellent, that's what we want to see. And let's see if we can boost between them. Yes! Skills to pay the bills. Let's go and keep heading across here and boost on this one. I'm starting to remember a bit of the track. We should have a bit of a left, a bit of a right, and then we'll start doing this little bridgey bit. Oh, no, it's a town bit, isn't it? Then it's the bridge. So boost on this town, and then another right, and then we'll take a left, and then we'll have a uphill bit. We'll try not to go over the edge. That is generally class suboptimal, and <laughs> I've just knocked a cone there, and this one is all the way down. And, yeah, this is where I would normally go straight there. I've done that twice, but no, managing to keep it on the track. Obviously, you can't go off the track for the most part because you've got the you've got the barriers either side, so it's difficult to go off the track unless it's specifically designed on this map where you've got the, the cones and such. Obviously, the previous map, you had some falls as well, and let's boost right across job done easy and then left down to the bottom another little sort of light left there medium left I guess you would call that and because was it short it's like short medium and then hairpin or I don't know what the pace thoughts were I did play rally games back in the day but like I said never really into driving games well then I, I did quite enjoy the arcadey ones like this and that you sort of micro machines -y type one and there was a there was a racing one that I can't remember what it was called but it was racing with characters like it was on it was on the PlayStation and it was mm, was it did it have micro in the name mm, you were you're basically small different characters and used to run and there was different abilities you could use and attack each other with but it was sort of akin to micro machines but I don't think it was fit it as such let's just get this one so this is position one out of two so I'm guessing this will be the last lap assuming that we add in boost oh yeah that went all kinds of bad that could cost me the game let's activate boost get around the corner and let's see if we manage to win this one we'll try one more map after this one yeah first there you go so not too bad at all so Bosa was last, first to knock out. Uh, Co-op was the second. We have the monkey medicine vehicle. We have the enforcer, then the banana, and then finally ourselves. So pretty good. So that was the pursuit mode. So it's like a knockout one there. Let's try one more map and give this one a go. We'll try 
Uh, let's go for single player. We've got time trial. We'll go for that one. I'll try. Let's see. Let's see what the stats for that one. That was great acceleration and great grip, but the speed and turbo were fairly poor. That actually was actually my favourite one so far. I don't particularly want to try the bus and. I have a feeling that, oh let's try the Enforcer because it's got good turbo and speed but it's got very poor grip because that's the thing, I tend to I tend to just react in racing games rather than think about what I need to corner with. We're going to pass over the Lost Ruins and go to Yodel Peaks because it's very snow and icy and we've got a vehicle with poor grip. <laughs> because, yeah, that's a great choice, isn't it? Okay, so we are on the time trial here and it looks like it's to be ourselves and three two one and go and i'm guessing this is where we have to beat our own time total time and then lap time let's just go around the outside and oh yeah this is i don't know this if, if this is the map i don't know if each map has its own set of like challenges for things like grip and all that sort of stuff i don't know if this map in particular is more difficult to drive on because of snow and ice or whether this car is genuinely just like trying to Ooh, drive a greased up pig on roller skates because that's what it feels like and uh, trying to get around the corner and there we go so yeah this is a hairpin is this the right way i don't know if this is the right way but it hasn't alerted us to anything let's try a boost and yeah that's that's not really something you want to try when you don't know the map and that's a that's an avalanche okay that's fine we did manage to go over that i uh, managed to stop myself just in time there's a couple of little things were going under as well which is pretty good and another hairpin so left and then the right and yes that's a bit of bit of drift there as well and a bit of crash on top of that too all very eventful so still on the first lap but i would assume that we're going to pass yeah there we go straight across so i'm guessing this is just ah i'm guessing can i go down here can i go down here yes i can and right i think that's is that wrong way yes okay I wanted to try that yes yeah, so you can go down that way but I don't think the time spending crashing into the side of it is really going to be well I don't think that's gonna be a bit of a pit I don't think that's gonna pay off looking at that you could probably fall off that mountain and take a right I'm gonna go left on this one to try this one out and jump 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 we are good at boosting so yes yeah, straight across but it does lose a bit of grip and when you land it certainly just seems to be very squirrely but there you are I'm trying to not just give it full power but I think we're gonna skid round here there's our previous time marks obviously this is just ourselves here and good grief that's all kinds of bad you saw I came off the jump at just a tiny tiny angle and then by the time I landed I was always first in the wrong way and it, it didn't help that I've got very poor grip and lots of boost now boosted into that but at least I didn't get hit by the avalanche so every cloud and all that we're gonna go to the right again and then to the left and I believe we have a fairly decent section where we can boost and yep there we go a little cheeky boost and across the line so we managed to be about the same time let's see if I can get in here and that seems to be better and then boost straight across for some reason it wants to put us to the right there again but I managed to turn around I think hopefully that was a bit better than the last one in terms of our time yeah it was pretty much bang on on the last one we're gonna skirt around here avoiding those cones because it seems to be like you can fall off there but you'll be able to you'll be able to make it and oh you'll be able to make it back eventually that seemed pretty good um and then taking a hard hairpin right actually it's not a hairpin this is the hairpin and slalom and back on this one not doing too bad so far feels better than one of the last ones and then yeah again i did the boost and it sort of flipped us right round there it's it's very i don't think it's I don't think it's really bad to say that this car is not for me. It's it's not my type of driving style. It's probably good if you can manage to thread it through the curves. I'm going to go left here because this is a, a new one and I have a feeling it's going to be a jump here. At least they put the cones there to show you that there's danger and it does alert you on the top. So that's pretty good. It feels good. And yes, that was our quickest time. 1 minute 10, 61. So pretty good. Like I say, if you played it multiplayer, I assume it's going to be split screen. I'm going to, I'm going to press that button and see what it's like. Let's see what it's like, which I'm guessing at the time would be one person on the arrow keys and the others on the number pad. Let's have a quick look at options, play two options. You can just say there for control, you can change your keyboard and joysticks, so yeah. And keyboard configurations, oh no, CBFV. 
Yeah, right, because that's totally acceptable. Although, to be fair, WSD, I mean, that's a bit of a strange one as well. And you've got split screen and network game. I never tried it network, but yeah, there is a split screen in there. I'm not going to try it because, well, we know what split screen is like. Either way, that has been a bit of ignition. It's been an interesting look back at this one, because normally when I do a nostalgia video, it's more things that I remember very fondly and want to try again to see if it hold, uh, held up. This one was a case of sort of, oh yeah, I remember that game. I'll give it a go, and that's all my feelings are on it. You can get the same experience and more pretty much on any mobile flash game or just browser game and pretty much any free any free game on on mobile and tablet. So, yeah, I mean, you'd pick it up for the nostalgia, I guess, but that would be pretty much it. It's fairly fun, though. I have enjoyed playing it. I don't think I'd play it much more, but, yeah, it's been fun checking this thing out. If you play this at the time, then by all means let me know. If you like the video, then by all means let us know as well. If you would like to see this more of this sort of thing, then once again, comments in the comments. Hope you have enjoyed this little mess around and taking a little look back at Ignition. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.